And new at 10, a routine traffic stop turns into a major drug bust. More than 30 pounds of methamphetamine was found inside the driver's car. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale is on Crime Watch tonight. Well, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol says they're still trying to figure out where the drugs came from and where they were headed, but now the driver is sitting in jail on a $1 million bond. We're talking millions of people can be affected by that, that amount. A traffic violation leading to a major drug bust. Uh, it is very, very dangerous. On Friday, an Oklahoma Highway Patrol trooper pulled over a car on the Turner Turnpike that we now know was being driven by Jesus Henestroza Lopez. They failed to turn their blinker when they changed lanes. OHP spokesman Eric Foster says the trooper got an indication that something else may be going on, so he took his canine around the car. The canine gives a positive indication to the odor of narcotics inside the vehicle, which gives us probable cause to look inside the vehicle. Inside, investigators found more than 30 pounds of methamphetamine. Henestroza Lopez was arrested for aggravated trafficking of illegal drugs, which unfortunately is becoming far too common. We see some of the largest seizures in the U.S. Uh, occurring here on our Oklahoma highways. According to Mark Woodward with the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics, thousands of pounds of methamphetamine are coming across the Mexican border into the U.S. in any given hour. And much of that does come to Oklahoma, whether it's staying here or it's simply used as a stash location for these drug cartels that then later move it to other parts throughout the Midwest. He says arrests like Fridays are imperative and could be life-saving. Our number one drug killer every year, and it has been for almost three decades, is methamphetamine. So every shipment that we get off the highway is potentially saving lives uh, of the, the people out on the streets that are buying uh, portions of these shipments. Henestroza Lopez is currently booked in the Oklahoma County Jail. Thank you, Natalie.